Giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash, the bonus to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and a sincere shalom to the Akin that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. Uh, this is going to be a really uh, quick video, real, real quick video. Um, Christians are some of the most annoying creatures on the planet, you know. They talk righteousness, they talk, you know, salvation, and they talk holiness and things like that. But Christians are some of the most unholy people, ungod most un unholy, ungodly people that you will ever meet in your life. Half of these people, most of these people that you see running around here acting crazy, doing what they want to do, you know what I'm saying? The, the men, they're out of control. The women, they, they're most definitely out of control. You hear a woman's mouth from 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 three blocks away, and I guarantee you, you talk to her, she says, I love God. I'm a God fearing Christian. Why is God why are God fearing Christians sounding like that? Okay, why are you behaving like this? Why why are people that claim to fear God talking about, well, forget forget about the law. We ain't gotta worry about the law. We ain't gotta worry about none of that. Don't worry about any of that. Why would you why would you why would you push that out there? Why don't you tell people to at least try? Why would you do that? You don't tell them to at least try. Right? And now what y'all do what now what you're trying to do is you're trying to roll up the camps with your camera and do what? To to to, to what? The debaters? The debaters about what? You already know what we you, you're going up there for a reason. You're going up there to debate us because you already know what you want to debate us for, and you already know the answer we're gonna give. So what's the point? What is the point? This dude rolled up to these to these two brothers. And the two brothers was literally had literally pretty much turned their turned their back, pretty much telling him to look, man, go away. We don't we don't feel like talking to you. We don't want to talk to you. Same thing we same thing the brothers did with vocab. Look, man, we don't feel like talking to you, man. You already know you already know what the deal is. You already know what the deal is. What how many times are we going to go over this? Right? How many times are we going to go over this? We do videos on we do videos on YouTube daily, nightly, whatever, 24-7. Okay? And it has all of your answers. If you want to go back, do the do do your videos and try to debunk us, right? Uh, uh, to your audience, go ahead. But don't roll up to our camps because we're not going to debate you. We're not going to entertain you. You're gonna you're gonna stand out there and you're gonna look stupid while your audience probably calling us cowards or whatever. Look, time is short, and we're going we're going to continue to see this. Time is really really short. The brother said, "Look, we're out here for our for our people." And this Christian said, "Why well, I, 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 aren't I your people? No, you're not. No, you're not. Biologically, sure, but physically, no. I mean, uh, so, so like <laughs> spiritually, no, you're not. What did what did this so-called Jesus Christ say? He turned to his family and said, "Look, <laughs> not his biological family, mind you. He turned to the to the to the followers and said, look." These he pointed. He said, "These are, are these are my mother, my brother, and my sister. The rest of them that that are considered my family are not my family. We are not going to entertain your you Christians for an audience." Now, and, and by the way, this is a video put up by Holy Bible Defenders uh, Elder Karatazaba. Okay, I, I forgot to say that. Um, this is uh, Matthew chapter 10, verse 11. You see, Christians pull one scripture out every single time we don't want to deal with them, man. Every single time we don't want to deal with them. And, and it's so, so, it's annoying because they have no idea what that scripture is, is really saying. They don't know that it's cutting them instead. But we're going to go with this scripture first. And then we're going to pull out that other scripture that Christians love pulling out, man. Okay, Matthew chapter 10, verse 11, it says, and into whatsoever city or town ye shall enter, inquire who is who in it is worthy and there abide till ye go thence. You Christians don't even don't even deem us worthy. That's why you're coming up debating us in the first place. Y'all don't even think we are worthy. So why do you why are you coming to us? Now, I'm just saying Christianity, man, you got to excuse the language on that. But Christianity is full of shit. And I don't care how many Christians get on my comment board and say it says otherwise because you're not changing anything. Christianity is dead. 
This is why you have Christians leaving that garbage and going to other Israelite, uh, going to Israelite groups, whether it be IUIC, those purple rats or whoever. But they leaving that, or they just putting down the Bible in general because you want to know why? Because they're being lied to. They're being lied to by you dumb, phony ass Christians, man. Right? And now it's causing people to put down the Bible in general. Because they're just being lied to. We done, we done been through this time and time again. The Jew, the Greek, the Gentiles, the Grecian, this, this, that, and the other. We've been through this a hundred times. And we're going to continue to say it. But if you roll up to our camps, if we don't feel like dealing with you. And then, and then what the dude started doing, what this clown started doing, was 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 put, put, putting it, throwing his phone in their, in their face and stuff, man. That right there is called harassment. Now, now, now you overstepping boundaries. That's going to make somebody swing on your black ass. That come to show you, man, Jake got no, got no, no type of sense. They got no type of fear. They got no, no type of survival skills whatsoever, man. You don't do that to anybody, man. Why would you, why would you put your finger or, or, or your hand in anybody's face coming off at them aggressive like that? Now, if somebody swing, swing on you, they going to be wrong. But that's why we got everything on camera. That's one of the reasons why we, why we record too. It's for our protection. This is why we tell people, look, back up, back up, back up. Don't do that. Don't get close. Back up. Can you, can you, can you step back a little bit? You know what I'm saying? Cause if, and if they deny, that means, okay, well, we might, we might have an aggressive one. Let's stay, let's stay on our toes. Now, now, like the elder said, man, like the elder said, <clears throat> instead of him going to their pastors, because these pastors are going off saying some off the wall stuff. They're over here killing people. They're over here killing them, killing their families and stuff like that. Instead of him posting up somewhere in the hood, right, or or anywhere, right, or going up to one of those corners where all where all the uh, you know all the riffraff is, and threatening them, right? You threatening men with Bibles. You know what I'm saying? You jumping up at on, on, on men with Bibles. That's not harming any, that's not harming anybody. You Christians are some of the phoniest, most annoying, annoying creatures on the planet. I'm telling you, man. Right? Verse 12. So you go into any city or any town, you know. You shall answer, inquire who in it, who in it is worthy. This goes, this goes to congregations too. This is a house. This is a parable, right? Or, or you could look at it as a parable. It says, and and when ye come into an house, salute it. Again, a house is, or, or see you like when you got a house, you can say it's a house, but without without people in it, it it's just a building. But a house is a people. Okay. This dude literally said we're not in a church. He, he, this dude literally said they're not in a church. That's how you know a Christian is lower level when 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 they say that that is not a church. He literally said, "Oh, two or more gathered, it's two of them." Like, come on now. He literally cut himself, man. He's so emotional in his emotional rant and trying to. He leaned it back, keep looking at the camera. See, see, see. You know what I'm saying? They don't even want to talk. Let's keep going, man. And when you come into a house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. Oh, I'm sorry. And if the house be worthy, let the peace come. Uh, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. If you rolling up to somebody and they say, "Look, we don't want to talk to you, man." I mean, me personally, I would say, "Okay, all right. Well, you don't want to talk. All right, well, we just, you know." Like, like when somebody walks by and we ask them, hey, man, can I ask you a question? If they say no, we say, okay, all right, you know, no problem. Because we're actually serious about this thing. If nobody wants to ask, uh, uh, get, you know, if they deny us asking them a question, we're not going to sit up there and continue on and put the camera on them. Look, look, man, see, you, you're supposed to do this. We ain't going to do all that. You know what I'm saying? And, and what vocab and all you other guys is doing is you're doing this to get paid. That's how you know who's doing, who's serious and who's not. If somebody is legitimately look, you know, looking for some answers, 
you know what I'm saying? Number one, they're not going to come up like that. Right? They're not going to come up like They're not going to post a camera. Whenever you see somebody actually setting up a camera, they're not they're not looking. We're gonna get we're gonna get to that in a second. We're gonna get to that in a second. Verse 14. It says, And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when ye depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. We're not hearing your words, vocab. Whoever this clown is, we're not hearing your words. The scripture says, when, when, when they don't hear your words, shake the dust off your feet. Okay? That's just what it is. We out there simply to warn and edify. If somebody comes up and literally ha you know, legitimately has a question, we're going to answer them. Some, uh, most, may, most may deny. Most may, may get into an uproar and stuff like that. That's who that goes for. But those are people that, that are not setting up cameras and stuff like that, just automatically ready to to, to, to debate. You know what I'm saying? Because now let's go into the scripture that they that that Christians like reading, because that's going to go into the point that I'm trying to make. <laughs> but I keep I'll keep bringing it out too fast. Right. Christians love bringing out Second Peter three and 15. Right. Vocab has done it numerous times. This 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 ass head. Right. Has done it. Right. Let's read it. Let's read it. And let's see what this is talking about. <clears throat> Here we go. Second Peter chapter three, verse 15. Christians are so annoying and so and so clueless and so brainless, man. You know what I'm saying? So they lack knowledge. You know what I'm saying? They really lack knowledge. They lack basic knowledge of the scriptures. This is a really easy scripture to understand. Right. And they still don't understand it. The sanctified, oh, here we go. It says, but sanctify, I'm, I'm at the King James Version. We're going to read the, some other, um, you know, translations, you know, because some other translations, you know, kind of kind of make it a little more simpler because of, you know, today's time. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts. It says, and be ready always to give an answer to every man. Sounds pretty good, right? Watch this. That ask of you a reason of the hope that is in, that is, uh, that is in you. With meekness and fear. Let's read some other um translations. Berean Standard Bible. It says, but sanctify yourselves. Um, I'm sorry, but in your heart, sanctify uh Christ as Lord. Okay, it says, always be 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 prepared to give a defense to everyone who asks you the reason for the hope that is in you, right? But respond with gentleness and respect okay uh let's see here i'm just uh okay here we go new living translation it says instead you must worship christ as lord of your of your life right and if someone asks about your uh your hope as a believer always be ready to explain it now this goes into the point that, I, that i'm making Vocab is he does nothing but videos against Hebrew Hebrew Israelites. Okay. This scripture does not pertain to him. This when you when vocab comes to you as you know as an Israelite, when vocab comes to you and he pulls this out, you can automatically deflect this and say, Well, that's not talking about you because number one, you're not asking me. You know what I'm saying? About my hope. You're trying to do you're trying to debunk me. You're not coming up to me as in, in humility, asking me, well, what is this all about? You already know what it's about. What is this about? What makes you worship this? Vocab could care less about what makes it what makes what what makes us worship or what makes us a Hebrew Israelite. We already told him what makes us a Hebrew Israelite. Number one, you gotta be born an Israelite. Okay. Uh, this guy here, <clears throat> he sets up a camera, yelling and screaming, you know, saying, uh, uh and in, in his microphone, all up in these brothers' faces and stuff like that, right? Constantly, constantly, over and over and over and over and over again, constantly asking questions, this, this, that, and the other. When somebody's doing that, it's not insincere. 
right? You see a guy set up a camera ready to debate you or so-called try to debate you. Just know, and when they pull this scripture out, just know this is not talking about them. This does not, this, no. You're trying, you're, you're trying to uh, feed an audience and you get upset. You get more upset. And you, if you notice these demons get more upset when we, when we ignore them, then they, then they start trying, trying more uh, provocative things, man. Like, like throwing, throwing their finger, throwing their hands up in your faces and stuff like that. Right. But you see, if, if we was all loud and belligerent and we, we went off on them and stuff like that. See, see these guys are out of control. Look, 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 see, see. They they out of control. This is what you're talking about. All they do is yell and scream at people. All they do is, is harass people. When you when if I go up to somebody random, right, that I that I don't know because y'all got you guys don't know us. You know, that's just random. When you go up to somebody and I ask them a question and they don't feel like at, answering, and I constantly go on and on and on and even it get it start getting more aggressive. Do you know what that's called? That is called harassment. Yes, you can actually get the police called on you for that because what you're doing is harassing somebody. We got it all on camera. And we wouldn't be in the wrong for calling the police on, on anybody like that. What you're trying to do is you're trying to you're trying to interrupt, you know what I'm saying, the, the word of the Lord. You're trying to interrupt our work. And it's and when it doesn't work, you get upset and you start you start becoming more and more angry, more provocative. You know what I'm saying? So you try to provoke us to do something. And, and when it doesn't work, you walk off looking stupid. And you and your dumbass audience, whoa, this, those Israelites, they're, they're cowards. Vocab, he goes up to another camp not too long ago after, after saying that GMS was broken. Literally after saying GMS was broken. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? If, 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 if these people's uh, uh, intention is not clear enough, for for you guys out there, for all of y'all, I don't know. I don't know how much more it can be. We we literally the other camp said we're not dealing with that. We're not dealing with you. Vocab runs runs off down the street with, with him and whoever else says, "Oh, GMS is broken." They do the same thing. I think last week or maybe two weeks ago, with with uh, what's that dude tank past the man. I tell you, man, y'all y'all nuisances, man. And that's why the Lord is going to remove y'all, okay? Christianity is dead, and 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 how we know this is look at what you're doing. Now y'all got to come up as so-called street apologists, right? And do this. How low? How much lower y'all going to get, man? Because you better best believe, man. If 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 we if we through the Spirit of the Lord, if we felt like dealing with y'all, we have dealt with y'all, and it's really pointless. But if we really felt like dealing with y'all, man, y'all get torched. Y'all get torched. And there's there are so many scriptures that we, we can we can end debates in five minutes. So easy. And one of the biggest debates that these dumb Christians have is salvation being for, for everybody. That debate has ended before at the same time it started. But what these brothers was trying was was doing was continuing to feed the sheep. Without without interruptions. He asked, Well, why are y'all out here? Well, we out there for the elect, man. We ain't out there for you. You're not, you're not our people. You know what I'm saying? Sure, you may be an Israelite. But see, if we said that to this guy, he wouldn't understand what we meant by it. Oh, what do you what do you mean I'm not your people? See, he wouldn't understand what we meant by that. This thing is only for the elect. That's just all it's for. That's our people right now. The rest are counted as heathens. See, but 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 you can't but we can't go so deep as to talk about two thirds to these guys, right? Because they're not even there yet. Right? They're not even there yet. Number one, y'all y'all up here talking about forget about the law. That's number one. Before you before y'all even go to the, the whole Israelite thing, you Christians over here talking about forget about the law. What did the law tell you to do so wrong? We understand that you can't keep it hundred percent. We're not telling you to keep it hundred percent because you just can't. It's impossible. But why not at least try? Why are you pushing? Why are you pushing the narrative out there? Don't worry about it. Forget about it. For what? What did the law tell you to do so wrong? There's so many ways to cut a Christian. It's so. It, I tell you, man. It's you know. 
some some bro like this elder here man he he really goes deep into his video goes out that elder man he goes deep you know with, with that christianity because they keep they keep trying these little sneak sneaky tactics especially vocab man keep trying these little sneaky tactics right but uh i don't know why this thing is acting up right now but yeah i was gonna close up anyway um so yeah man <clears throat> This this scripture doesn't go to a, a, a wacky tacky Christian that comes up and, and, and posters uh a camera there automatically ready to, to try to debunk us. You're not debating us. You're, you're not you're not you're not trying to search for a reason of my hope. You're trying to debunk me and you're trying to throw my throw the doctrine in you know out of the window. This doesn't this doesn't apply to y'all. I get sick and tired of Christians pulling this scripture out when we don't feel like dealing with them, man. But then when we deal, when we do deal with you, oh man, see these guys are out of control. These guys are just weird. These guys are just wicked. Christian, man, I'm telling you, man, Christians are annoying. Christians, Christianity is just a one big, one big nuisance. Y'all pass. Y'all need to get. Y'all need to get out the way. Y'all need to get out the way. And if, and the, and the Lord is going to move y'all out the way. We ain't going to. The Lord is going to remove y'all out the way. I mean, y'all pretty much are out the way. The the brother on um on a on an elder's comment said these these Christians are are not qualified to talk to us, so we don't have to talk to them. You you're not worthy. Like what did what did the scripture say? What did the scripture say? Right. <clears throat> uh, uh, inquire who in it is worthy. It says, but if it be not worthy, let your peace return to, return to you. Really, those brothers was was calling that dude unworthy when he was when he was ignoring them, and and and, and turning their back. You know, had to sign and turn their back on them. He said, "Look, they the brothers said y'all not worthy." That's what we're saying every single time we ignore you Christians. Vocab, you're not worthy. You're not you're, you're not worthy to talk to us anymore. What are we going? What, what are we going to talk about? The same thing all over again. And all y'all go, all y'all gonna do? See, your doctrine is false. You're you're weak. You're weak. Okay, if we're so weak, get get lost. Go down the street, kick rocks, do whatever you want to do. But when we tell them that, nah, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere for what? I'm not going anywhere. Why? <laughs> why you try to feed your audience? That's why. Y'all, man, Christianity is weak, man. See, y'all call us weak, but you see, we don't have to roll up to any Christians. You see us, we don't have, we don't need a book to say, how do you combat a Hebrew Israelite? How do you, it's selling books. How do you debate a Hebrew Israelite? But we the weak ones though. We ain't rolling up on you Christians. We ain't rolling up in y'all churches trying to debate y'all. How are we weak? How are we broken? Anyone that's desperate, anyone that's broken does stuff like that. Try to find their way. Trying to find that way. Anyway, that's all I got on this, man. It was a little bit of a ramble session at the end, but that's what it is. It, is, it happens. Giving all praise on the glory to you. How about Shimmy? I was